Good day, everyone. My name is Teria Dankwa Samwa. You are welcome back to TS Online Math. In today's tutorials, we are going to look at a polynomial function. So when we talk about a polynomial functions, it focuses only on the positive integral power of x. So when we talk about positive integral power of x, we mean this. So for g of x, in case we are giving g of s, c equals to for x cubed minus six x squared plus five x plus four. So let's look at the power here. The power here is three, okay? Of course, that is the highest power, so three. So followed by two, one, then the constant, okay, it will be zero, all right. So polynomial functions are functions, we talk about the positive integral power of x. Consider this, so five, x raised to negative 3 minus 4x plus 7. Okay. So look at this. The power here is what? Negative. Uh, per the definition, the power is supposed to be positive. Okay. So each of x is not a polynomial function. Okay. So we can talk about so many examples. So each of x again. In case you are given 1 on x squared plus 7x plus 6. So 1 on x squared can be written as x raised to minus 2 plus 7x plus 6. So this 1, 2 is not a polynomial function. Okay. So in general, a polynomial function is an algebraic function defined. Okay. As the positive or the highest power being positive okay all right so we can also say the degree of a polynomial function in x is the highest positive integral power of x so you can talk about so many examples okay you can talk about so many examples all right so let's see g of x 7x squared plus 6x plus 5. So, h of x. So, we can talk about 7s cubed minus 6x squared minus 4. So, f of x, 3x with negative 2 plus 5x minus 3. So, in talking about g of x, h of x, and f of x, Okay, so per the definition, we can see clearly that h of x and g of x are polynomial function. Let's look at the third one. So this one is not a polynomial function because of this negative power here. So the power here is not positive, it's negative. So once the power is negative, it doesn't qualify to be a polynomial function. All right. With this, let's look at how to add and subtract polynomial function. Okay. So, given g of x to be x raised to 4 minus x raised to 3 plus x squared minus x plus 2 and that of f of, f of x. So, let's find g of x plus f of x. Okay, so we are going to put them together. So for addition, you can group like terms straight forward. So the highest power here is four. We have this side with three. So we have only one x to the power four. Okay, we have only one. So I'll write that one first. So x to the power four. Now four, the next one is three. Okay, so we have three here. We have another one here. Okay, so I'll put them together. So we have minus 
x cube plus 2x cube. Okay. Then the next one has to be with 2. So the highest, okay. x squared, 3x squared. So we have x squared plus 3x squared. Okay. Let's move on to 1. So we have minus x. Then we have nothing here. So minus x. Then the constant, the one without x. So we have plus 5. Sorry, min plus 2 and minus 5. Okay. So we can now write the final answer. So x raised to 4. The coefficient here is my 1. So we have minus 1 and plus 2. So it will be 1. So x cube. Then we have 1 here. So 1 plus 3 is 4. Then we have minus x. So 2 minus 5 is minus 3. So that is that. Okay. Example 2. Let's find g of x minus f of x. Okay. So to find g of x minus f of x, you have to be very careful. Now, this negative is affecting f of x. And therefore, in writing f of x, it's a must to introduce bracket. Okay. Telling the examiner that this negative will affect f of x. So let's write g of x first. So we have x raised to 4 minus s cube plus x squared minus x plus 2 minus. So I'll introduce bracket. Okay. So 2x cube plus 3x squared minus 5. Okay. So let me repeat this one. So this negative will affect everything. So minus 2x cubed minus 3x squared. So minus minus b plus. Okay. So we can now group like terms. So we have s raised to 4. We have only 1. Full by so we have minus x cube minus 2x cube so it will be minus 3x cube so we have squared and minus 3 so we have minus 2x squared and we have x so we have minus x and then the constant okay so we have plus 2, then plus 5. That would be plus 7. So that's the answer. All right. Okay. So let's move on to the next example. So you can try this. So let's find h of x plus f of x, then h of x minus f of x. All right. So in our next lesson, we are going to consider how to multiply two polynomials. All right. So thanks for watching.